This video will show you how to install a biparting stacking multi-slide door system. Your door installation kit will come with all the necessary items for your installation. First, we will prepare the rough opening for the installation. This is a representation of one configuration option. Refer to the written instructions for details on all other configurations. Verify the rough opening is 1 inch wider and 5 8 inch taller than the door frame dimensions. Next, verify the RO is square, level, and plumb. Now we will install the head tracks. First, calculate the height of the head track within the opening by adding the call out of the floor track plus the panel height plus 1 and 1 quarter inches. Now we will calculate the exterior to interior position of the head track by measuring one inch out from the exterior and marking with a pencil. Using a chalk line, connect the two marks Mark the height dimensions on both sides of the rough opening to indicate where the top of the head track will be positioned vertically in the opening. Using a square, continue the mark for the entire width of the side jam. With a helper, position the head track on the header. Next, align the head track with each set of marks and secure through the pre-drilled holes with number eight by two and one half inch screws. Now, shim the head track to ensure it is level. Using the same process, secure the interior head track directly next to the previously installed track. Next, we will install the floor tracks. From one end of the interior most head track, hang a plumb line from the end of the head track to the subfloor and mark the location. Repeat this process for the other end and mark the location. Now, measure in one half inch from the plumb line and make a mark. Measurements vary depending on the type of track. Refer to the floor track alignment table in the written installation instructions to confirm. Next, using a chalk line, snap a line between the two marks. Align the interior floor track with the chalk line. Next, apply sealant to the sill fastener holes and fasten the floor track through the pre-drilled holes with the provided number 12 by one and three quarter inch screws. Level and insert shims as necessary. Now, position one of the shorter floor tracks next to the second long floor track, using the spacing tool to provide the correct positioning. Secure the new track in the same manner as you did with the first floor track. Apply sealant and secure. Repeat this process for the other track in the same manner as you did with the first floor track. Now install the side jams into the groove on the exterior track. Make sure the weather strip is facing the exterior. Push the top of the jam up so it fits snugly in the head track.
use shims to ensure the side jam is completely level and lines up evenly with the edge of the head track. Next, we will prepare and stage the panels. Study the overall door configuration before installing the first panel. Then, stage the doors and their configuration on each side of the opening. The panels are numbered from left to right, but this is not the order in which to install them. You will always install the interior panels on the long track before you install the panels on the short track. In this case, we will install panel number two first Place the top of the panel into the interior most head track. Raise the panel and swing the bottom inward over the interior most floor track. Now, lower the panel onto the floor track with the wheels centered on the ridge cap. Install the remaining panels in the same manner. It's a good idea to center the panel on the short track to avoid pinching your fingers. It may be helpful to mock up the finished floor to verify the panel weather strip will properly contact the finished floor. The finished floor should be 1 8 inch below the top of the floor track and the panel weather strip should contact the finished floor. Now we will make any necessary adjustments to the rollers and strike plate. Find the roller adjustment hole on the interior face of the panels. Turn clockwise to raise the panels and counterclockwise to lower them until the weather strip makes contact with the finished floor and the panel is level. To adjust the strike plate, extend the latch and bring the panels close together to check for proper orientation. If the lock doesn't engage the strike plate, loosen the two screws and move the strike plate up or down until there is proper engagement. When aligned properly, pre-drill through the two remaining holes in the strike plate. Install two number 10 by one and one quarter inch security screws through the holes in the strike plate. Now we will secure the fixed panel. Pre-drill and countersink approximately four inches from the top and bottom and in the center of the side jam. Use the provided screws to secure the fixed panel. Now, use the provided screws to secure the L-bracket to the fixed panel through the pre-drilled holes. Finally, align all door panels and check for proper operation. For additional information and complete written instructions for tasks depicted in this video, visit www.gel-wen.com or if you have questions, call us at 1-800-GELDWEN.